Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. This is part 33, I think? And anyways, I came back to, uh... What, what city is this? Veilstone. Because I had to check where the Rotom area was. And I think... Is it down here? Uh... I thought... Because Looker gave me the secret key next, last time he came. Um... I thought it was in Veilstone. No, you know what? It's in Eterna City. That's where I was mistaken. It's in it's in a galactic uh, base in Eterna City, and he gave me the secret key, which is normally an event um, when you get Rotom to unlock it. But of course, Looker just gives it to me in this game. Now, I don't actually remember how to get in there. Hold on, I'm checking because I completely forgot. It is on the ground floor to the left of the television. Uh, to the left of the television, like, my left? There it is. <laughs> that's so hard to find. Yeah, that's why I had to look that up. So yeah, here's where I can change Rotom's form, and of course I'm gonna go with Rotom Mo because we're going into the, uh, the, the water gym, that's what I'm talking about. Um... I don't like it this move set now though. I think I'm gonna get rid of Charge Beam. Actually, I mean Charge Beam can make up for Leaf Storm's uh losses, but hmm. I'll get rid of Willow Wisp. I can relearn it and um hopefully like Rotom's goal is gonna be to one shot whatever comes out, so hopefully I won't need to uh <laughs> I won't need to uh, burn anything. Anyways, this guy's just talking about Rotom. Goodbye, Professor. Um, oh, and I also forgot to mention that I trained a little bit on the Chansey girl. I even did some um, Eevee training, because I have the Eevee training uh, item things. Anyways, I have Riven. I started. I decided to use Toxic Rogue instead of... Um, who did I get rid of? I got rid of Nimbus, because... It, it, it's weak to ice, and I already have a dragon type and a fairy type in Azumarill and Charizard, so like, it was kind of just taking up two types that I already had. It wasn't really providing any, like, anything special, so I got rid of it for Toxic Probe. I don't know if it's going to be temporary or not, but for now, we'll definitely bring Nimbus back to the team at some point, but for now, we're just going to switch it off. We already have those types. Um, also, I have General Electric here, who's now Rotom Mo, and... Yeah, that's, that's really it. It's, it's a Rotom Mo. I just trained it up from last time, so they're higher leveled. So I guess there's not much else to do but go into the Great Marsh. Um, hopefully I don't lose Rotom so I can come back there and switch its type later. <coughs> oh yeah, and um... Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. I guess that was some kind of event. I wonder if that actually did anything. This girl will give me a TM if I do her little challenge. Um, okay, so let's see. I The way I'm going to do the Great Marsh is... Uh, I'm going to get a tribe for one Pokemon each like area. So I'll, I'll go to all six areas. I'll catch them all. And the, the ones that I don't get to keep, I don't get to keep. Um... So each area is going to count as a separate area, but of course if that Pokemon runs away, then I won't get to keep it. So there's a chance I get zero Pokemon, but there's also the chance I get six, so... Uh, honestly, I think I need it, because this game is kind of uh, killing a lot of Pokemon, I say, looking at the death counter. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes. And I guess we'll try to catch five, because she'll give us a TM, and if, it, if we don't catch five, I'll look it up just so I can know what that TM is, because that's going to bother me. Or maybe I'll actually catch five, just in case. <laughs> okay, I'll catch the first encounter, but if I don't manage to catch five, I'll catch extra just to get the TM, and I'll release the five that I caught. So our first encounter in area, I don't know, whatever this is, is a Gulpin. And we caught it on the first ball. Sweet. What do we name Gulpin? Uh... Name it Gastro. I should have named it Gaster. That would have been a better name. 
Aw oh, man, of course the game taunts me with a Breloom. I want my Breloom back. Okay, so... Are there five areas? What area are we in now? I guess we're gonna go to area one. Okay. Okay, area one encounters Atropius. There's no way we're catching this. Uh, I don't know why I'm just throwing balls. I can actually use the others. Wow, I actually caught it. Did not expect that. Okay, Tropius. We got, uh... What do we name this? I'll name it Stretch. I'm pretty sure Tropius' catch rate is fairly high, so I'm pretty surprised I caught that. Okay, well, Area 1 is done. Wait, are both sides of this Area 1? No, this is Area 2. I see how this works. Be barrel that's dupes. Yeah, so since this is Area 2, I, uh, I'm gonna get, try for another encounter here. Okay, Carnivine. Which also catches. What's happening? I might have to change the rules after I've caught all the Pokemon, because this is kind of strong. Okay, well that's area 1 and 2 done. So now we go to area 3 and 4. Okay, so I already caught a Pokemon in area 6. That was the first thing I tried. So, this is area 3. Yanma, oh my god, I want this. Don't leave. No! Well, there's a... Uh, uh, there that goes. Yanma would have been great, but I guess not. Then we just cross the tracks into area 4. Which is a Toxic Croak. We already have one of those. A Krogunk. Have one of those. Because we have Toxic Croak. Parasect. Caught the Parasect. We're getting a lot of grass types. Uh, what do we name this? I'm thinking of types of mushrooms, but I also don't know the names of any types of mushrooms besides shiitake mushroom because of Spy Kids, so I'm not gonna name it that. We'll name it, uh, Lindsay, <laughs> because I can't think of anything else. And next is our last area, which was Area 5, because I think we already went to the right, which was Area 6. Yeah, we already did this side, that was Area 6. This is Area 5. The TM for Sludge Bomb is there. Am I gonna have to explore the Great Marsh looking for the items in here? That's not something I expected to have to do. Oh, right, I have to go into the Great Marsh to catch the Team Galactic guy. Well, I'll come back. Um, or maybe I'll just search for him after I finish catching. Scroopy, that's amazing. Would love to have a Scroopy. And it fled, okay. So yeah, that's all my encounters, they're all done, but I am going to catch this extra gulpin, not because I'm going to use it, but just so I can have caught five, um, to see what that TM is. Okay, that's five. The shroomish doesn't count, just, uh, um, this is fake news, we're not going to use it. I just wanted it for the TM. I don't think I'd be able to live without knowing what that TM is, at least. Now we just have to navigate the place. It would be nice to find a shiny, though. I'm pretty sure when you uh, wiggle around in the marsh, it, it takes away steps from the game, so you actually uh, get kicked out faster. I'm not sure exactly how this works. I'm pretty sure that is how it works. Gosh, the, the marsh is so annoying to navigate. Okay, 
so... I think we're looking for the Galactic Guy anyways, I don't even remember what we're doing here. I'll just keep exploring until I run out of... Yeah, steps. Plus there's a ton of items in here, so might as well. Let me out of here. Okay, well I guess the time's up, and right before I was gonna get that item too. And she gave me TM-17, which is... what? Protect, okay. Well, I don't think it was any big cheating to have taken Protect from her. You just have to TM for Sludge Bomb, which is really good because, actually, I can... turn this into a special attacker if I wanted, but it already has way higher physical attack, so I don't think that's worth it. Uh... Yeah, I think that's it. Did I talk to the people up here? I think I did. I'm just remembering wrong. Yeah, okay, we're done here. I'll, I'll check later if I need to go back in there for anything. Uh, I think I have to catch the Galactic guy though. I'm not, I don't completely remember exactly. Oh, and also I can battle this guy because I'm pretty sure the guy the people in Pokemon Centers uh, give us stuff when we beat them. I always liked Krikatoon, but it was always in a weird spot. And now let's check out all those uh, Safari encounters I got. Nope, not even gonna give me anything. Just wanted to battle. That's fair. Okay, so we got five Pokemon, starting with this Gulpin, which is Gastro. It's holding the Almond Berry. Sassy. That's actually a pretty good nature for it. With Liquid Ooze. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, alright, it's a Gulpin. Not much to write home about. And we also have Tropius. Uh, Hasty, that's not amazing, but it's whatever. It's actually terrible, because it has no speed. But it has really good moves, so that's nice. I, I might use that. And then we have Carnivine, it's the Levitate. Uh, yeah, also not much to write home about. It might get used, I don't know, probably not. And then we have Lindsay, the Parasect. Most likely not going to be used, especially since it's Timid, which is like... Those are the two, <laughs> like that's the worst possible nature it could have, like in general ever. I'm pretty sure Parasect's base speed is 20 or something, and it needs its attack, so bad nature, bad Pokemon. Not a good combo. And then we have Fake News here, who is about to get released. Goodbye, Fake News. Alright, let's see. So, let's see if we can enter the gym now. I don't think we can. He's going to Route 212. Oh, I guess we have to go find him. He's on Route 212. I guess there is nothing we need to do in the Great Marsh. I mean, there's items there. I might go back and get those, but I don't like navigating the marsh. So, instead of doing that, we're just going to explore this route. Pokemon don't really need any training right now, because I'm, I'm kind of afraid that I overleveled, but... No, we didn't overlevel, what am I talking about? Why did I even... why was I even worried? I should have leveled up more, actually. Oh wow, that hurt. Yep, it's switch time. Hopefully this thing doesn't have Pursuit. This Carnivine does a lot of damage. How could I have forgotten that it's raining? I don't know why I sent out Charizard in for that instead of Air Slash. Electabuzz. We can just Earthquake that. Unless it has Ice Punch. I'm pretty sure I think Electabuzz can get Ice Punch anyways.
I missed having a fighting type on the team. Okay, if it starts raining during the gym battle, which it probably will, I won't put it past Crasher Wake to have a Politoed. Um, that'll actually be really good for Riven here. Yeah, that that was like dry skin was 100% the only reason I put Toxicroak on the team. Otherwise, I would have just kept Nimbus. Wait, Nimbus would have been pretty good during rain too, since it has Cloud Nine and can just stop the rain from mattering. I really should try to get more honey tree encounters, but there aren't any honey trees in towns, and I usually just want to go for the grass. Plus, what could we possibly get that would be really good from a honey tree? Well, besides Heracross and Apom and, I don't know, Pineco might be alright, but... I'm pretty sure this guy's house is a move tutor, so uh, we'll just battle this girl and we'll head in there and see what what's what. Why is everything doing so much damage? Well, it is raining. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, even that did a lot of damage. I know it was a crit, but still. Let's just Leaf Storm this Golduck. Leaf Storm's a great way of just ending a battle instantly. I should Life Orb General Electric once I get into the gym. What is this? Let's heal in case these guys are trainers. Don't want to get caught off guard by this. I have a few rare candies I should just use whenever I, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Are these all three? It's all three of the move tutors that are usually scattered around the region. They're just all here. Okay, well, I don't know what moves these guys are supposed to- Oh, I don't want Mud Slap. The move tutor moves aren't amazing in this game, they're just normal move tutor moves. I could teach a Gunk Shot, though, actually. I don't know, is Gunk Shot worth it? Gunk Shot's pretty strong. It's 85 accuracy, right? It's 80. Well, with Sword Stance, I think Poison Jab is good enough. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. Right, let's learn Gunk Shot, just because Poison isn't like a great stab anyway, so if we ever need to use it, I think the more power is better in this case. Oh, I can teach you it's Super Power, uh, but I don't think I need Super Power. Earth Power. But, obviously, I don't want Earth Power on my Torterra that already has Earthquake. I could teach Heat Wave. No, I already have Flamethrower. Hurricane. Actually, wait a minute. Hurricane. Oh, he was just tricking me. Well, Hurricane would be good for Charizard if... Um, for the gym, just because it's raining. Well, I assume it will rain. It's probably going to rain in the gym. Icy Wind. I just, I, it's gonna take me a sec to go through these, but I'm just curious. I want to see what the moves are. Especially since it's not in a normal list. Oh wow, you can learn a lot of stuff. I could teach it Ice Punch and Thunder Punch. I think I should teach it Thunder Punch just for the gym at least. But I don't really have anything I want to get rid of here. Let's get rid of Earthquake. We're not gonna need Earthquake during the gym, and then we can just reteach it. Well, we don't need to go for Ice Punch on anyone before a Water Gym. We might come back for it, but for now, no. I really don't want to have Fly. Yeah, I really wish I could just get rid of Fly. But, I do need Air Slash. It's just better. No, I really wish it didn't make me click through it. It's so quick. 
but of course I'm just rushing because I uh, I just want to see all the moves. See if there's anything useful I can teach to my teammates. No, these are just garbage moves. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching. We'll uh, come back next time. We'll finish Route 212. We'll find Crasher Wake, and then we'll go back to Astoria City to actually fight him. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll be back next time, and yeah, smash that like button.